Hi, for premium tutorial and other information, please visit our description. In this tutorial, I'm going to give an explanation on SDLC, that is Software Development Life Cycle. So the reason behind this topic is, uh, we almost, uh, we have been engineer for um, many years, but uh, we are still, uh, we, are, we are contributing more on the technical stuff, but uh, uh, the cycles like uh, SDLC or STLC, even the bug life cycle, it's a base to do any software or it's a, it's a very much needed stuff to deliver any product, but many of us are not aware. So I'm just giving a brush up on the SDLC and, and it's not completely on, uh, you know, the theoretical part, but I just relate the everything with the practical scenario, how we are used in the industry and as usual, I'm just not make the thing so complex so that you will be very easy to understand and uh, you know uh, get the thing yeah the complete tutorial is not so complex it's a very uh, it's a very brief that's a very uh, it's a, it's not deep and it's a overview so that you can easily understand and remember the things and you can tell to anyone or you can explain yeah so basically there are six phases of SDLC so it starts from requirements and it's uh, insert maintenance yeah so requirements yeah we'll see one by one quickly yeah requirements so customer used to give the requirements and business analyst used to analyze what are the requirements that can be done so he'll just uh, derive these uh, requirements specific then uh, he'll just uh, convert the customer requirement into the system requirement that is the customer requirement is for the customer understanding and the business analyst convert the customer uh, requirement to the system uh, requirement for uh, engineers understanding yeah so here i have given very uh, you know it's very short so the no requirement will be like this but you know the in a piece of module maybe like this so this is a project name is embedded world and the requirement is uh, sorry the version is uh, version 1.0 the name is again embedded well the logo is an image that you used to they have given in the excel data sheet then menu option about then contact trainings events etc yeah so this is a, the that means that in the requirement customer used to in a one line customer used to give what are the things he needed to implement that's what the requirement is then and the one more important thing is the requirement can be handled by the business analyst that he will convert the customer requirement into the system requirement so the main difference between the customer requirement and the system requirement is in customer requirement it will be only the the requirement is only based on the customer needs but in the system requirement it's completely on the technical stuff that what engineers needs to do yeah then in design in design what the stuff is go see it's a designing the data structures designing the software architecture uh, interface representation and the detailed algorithms so it's it's literally it means so before developing the software so how the software needs to be like what are the platform you need to choose what are the algorithms we need to follow or what are the architecture we used to do so those are all the things can be analyzed by the entire team like the managers business analysts even the customer sometimes so to design and uh, they'll just have a pre-look on the software that how the software should be to make a design yeah and next phase is a coding or implementation in this phase that you might know or many of you all may be working on it so it's just a coding i'm sorry it's not just a coding it's a coding so people used to code which uh, with the respect to the design where the design has been derived with respect to once this code implementation have done then the next level of phase is uh, test the software so the test the software is not uh, literally you know uh, same as a uh, independent testing the main difference between the testing the software and the independent testing is testing the software can be done by the developers itself so once the software have been developed then they used to uh, do the sanity check whether the software is working fine as the expected and as the requirement or not so that is called test the software here you don't want to confuse the testing the software is uh, maybe related to the independent testing yeah so the term independent testing i'll just uh, again i'll uh, give you a somewhat brief explanation in the in the next slide I mean the last slide so once the implementation done the developers used to test the software uh, how it is uh, behaving so the uh, pro most probably the testing the application might be very limited 
uh, where they um, they might not uh, use many techniques that how testers used to do like boundary analysis equivalence or equivalence partitioning uh, static uh, flow so everything there is no techniques have been involved while the developers used to test and the next two phases that is installation so once the application have been developed successfully it needs to install and uh, they have to ensure that there is there is no compatibility issues while installing the software with the compatible environment then at, after this stage we can go to the maintenance stage so in this stage we can just uh, the developers can uh, send the product to the uh, end customer or testers then after that the maintenance phase in maintenance phase they have to uh, check for the you know the support the way once the software has been done successfully uh, there is a much needed uh, part is uh, support and uh, maintenance so once uh, sometimes this how application may crashes or sometimes the application may hang uh, for the uh, for the majority of hits or uh, sometimes uh, uh, you say for example uh, amazon or flipkart they used to launch the big billion day or uh, you know some other special occasion at the time the in the at the 12 o'clock or 11 o'clock the hits may be huge so at the time the application should not crash if it crash then the maintenance team it comes into the picture to solve the issues and they'll have some calibration that uh, the range should not exceed the limit so those kind of uh, stuff can be handled by the maintenance and the team so once these six phases have been done so as we start with the with our requirement for this uh, you know embedded world so once these all, all these phases have done then the developers can uh, launch the beautiful blog called the embedded world that what we expected so this is here i have mentioned the final product before independent testing so before independent testing is the product has not released from the developers to the testers here we can call the testers as an independent testers that means uh, the when the developers used to test their own software the probability of getting the defects or uh, faults is very less as they have developed their own so if there is an independent testers that means the testers they can do the independent testing and can find uh, more defect on it and uh, the software will become more stable and quite good yeah so these are all the six phases that you have to aware Mm, that's all about this and uh, before this the important notice please subscribe and hit the bell if you're not because sometimes uh, we used to remove some of our videos from our channel due to some re specific reasons so if you are follow if you are subscribe our channel if you hit the notification bell once the video have been uh, launched then you can download or you can just go through whenever you are free even though after the video have been deleted you don't want to worry about that so if you like this please like and comment and you know subscribe for more bye bye catch you in next tutorial